Hello crypto geeks and welcome to another super exciting video. I have lots of good news for you guys as did many of my colleague Jeremy Hogan's the RP explanation lawyers. So good news for you guys as usual in this beautiful green market. Let's start by saying that XRP has outperformed every currency out there right now in the crypto space. They've done that so well, and it doesn't even seem like people are seeing it as a big deal. And I understand why they don't see it as a big deal. It's because XRP is expected to perform so well. And this is a very small margin for the expectations from XRP, but very, very, very good for XRP. We, this is before even the lawsuit is officially settled or officially cleared up uh, from XRP. So that's great. Now, I have some big, big news for you guys in reference to uh, what we're looking to see in the coming days. Now, before I continue, please, 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 if you have not yet clicked that like button, make sure you do so. It really helps me out. And if you've not clicked subscribe, make sure you do so as well. If you didn't see the last uh, video from Jeremy Hogan's, he talks about all the weird things that are going right now between XRP or Ripple and the SEC, particularly the quietness that we're seeing from both sides. And I've mentioned this various times in my last couple of videos that we're really seeing a change in tone between the SEC and Ripple. And there's been a lot of quiet and usually quiet signals negotiations between the parties involved, which in this case is Ripple and the SEC. So Jeremy Hogan's went out and, and explained that in more lawyery details. So great job, uh, Jeremy, and, and that was very informative. With that said, uh, as mentioned, we have not heard anything about the Hinman deposition yet. And uh, Jeremy Hogan predicts that that's because, you know, that didn't happen at all. And I will, I will second him in that. That's a very likely position and like very likely fact. But we could also be seeing that the deposition did happen. But again, you don't want to get on each other's bad side when you don't need to. So the deposition might have happened, but the SEC might have opened up much more to discussions. So Ripple is holding everything on the side. They have these documents ready, but are not submitting them to the court system. And they could be bargaining chips for Ripple, right? What Ripple could say is we have all these documents. Look what Mr. Henman said. This is going to make our position in this lawsuit very, very strong and likely make us win this motion to dismiss so let's talk and uh that's probably exactly what is happening now if we see these documents get submitted by ripple and they're you know the, you see a change in tone in ripple that means that those discussions have broken down but up to that point we're really on a, on a path of either a settlement being completed as jeremy hogan's predicted or we're in serious settlement discussions which i i personally believe is where we're at. I think that the SEC has opened up to real discussions with Ripple. And I think Ripple has probably completed the deposition. That's what I'm going to guess. But they're not submitting any paperwork to uh, the judge, Judge Netburn, just because they're talking to the SEC and that could be a bargaining ship that Ripple is using. Additionally, as, as you guys are seeing, it's a beautiful green market. And a lot of people are saying that the market is green because of what uh, you know, the lawyer Jeremy Hong has mentioned or because of his recent uh, bullish video, if you want to call it that. But I think the market is much past that point. People are not, uh, now automatically tying every single boost or, or, or push in the market to a video on YouTube or an article you know, posted on, on Google or wherever. And that's actually not very true. Money does not move because of one video. There is a small amount from retail investors, me and you, but that's, you know, a couple thousand dollars, maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars. But when you're seeing millions of dollars being, you know, floating from uh, into XRP, and, you know, one of the facts that will tell you for certainty, certainty that it's not because of, of that particular video or this particular tweet, it's because the entire market is shifting. So if really, yes, XRP is, is ahead, but really everything is growing, which tells you this is a market move. This is a crypto market move towards a, polit uh, a positive bullish trend and bullish momentum, which is expected. We are not yet 
at the end of the bull cycle. In fact, we could be very far off. And I mentioned one thing earlier in my last videos, and I said, really what, what happens with the market uh, you know, moving forward will in part be determined by the results from this lawsuit with, uh, between Ripple and the SEC. And it's not because Ripple is, is, is really going to uh, push the market, but because of clarity, right? Everybody, all the crypto companies right now, and everybody that's particularly institutional investors that will spend billions of dollars, you know, if they choose to forego and dedicate uh, some funding to crypto, they want the clarity. They want to be sure that when they put their money in, there's not going to be, you know, they're not going to be repercussed uh, by the U.S. government and the SEC in this case. And this is very clear when you look at exactly what some of the major companies in the United States have done. I'm going to pin out again Amazon. Amazon posts a position specifically hiring a crypto expert within their payments department. Why in... You know, why would they do that if they're real, not really looking for to get involved in crypto? Obviously, that doesn't make sense. And obviously, that means that you're looking for some involvement at some point in time in crypto. But if you go out and publicly say that without clarity, without having legislation that supports crypto and that makes it open and easy to access and easy to support these cryptocurrencies, you risk getting sued by the SEC or penal, being penalized somehow. And this is what Amazon fears. And that's why they have to go out and say, these are speculations, these are rumors, and we're not planning to do that. But if you pay very careful attention to Amazon's specific wording, what Amazon said is we're not planning to do that by the end of this year. So Amazon is still considering at 100%, it means that they're looking at this as a potential means of payment in you know the months to come but they have to protect themselves from the sec specifically and from the u.s economy you know economic drivers and the economic legislators because there's no clarity um so that that's my two cents in relevance to that now there's uh good news it looks like that's about to come up for cardano it's not confirmed yet guys but I am hearing rumors that smart contracts are probably coming in end of august for cardano um, so very good props for Cardano for that. Again, that's not confirmed. Don't take my word for it. I'm not a financial or legal advisor. I'm just hearing around that that is likely to happen. Now, if you want to ask me as to when I expect a settlement to officially come out, I think we're still going to hear of it after the end of discovery. I think there may be something, like I said, that's in the works right now. Potentially, there could be a settlement. But remember, even if there is a settlement, there's going to that Ripple and the SEC are going to have to decide on the timeline as to when they want to release the statement to the public. And like I said before, if you look way, 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 way back in my channel and even on my Twitter on Crypto Geek News, if you look way back then, uh, I mentioned that really Ripple wouldn't want to release that they've settled the moment that they actually have settled. And it's not because they don't want us to know. They want to have the infrastructure ready for massive purchases because you guys, you can imagine, once you, you hear of a settlement, uh, Ripple is going to have huge, huge volumes. And if there are not the exchanges that are able to incorporate you know incorporate those purchases and manage those purchases you're going to have a ton of exchanges crash you know exchanges crash you know for simple purposes of, of GameStop you know Robinhood that one of the biggest exchanges in the world had to crash so and a lot of the other smaller platforms did the same thing so you can imagine with XRP and you can imagine with it already now being incorporated in Japan and on-demand liquidity already becoming active, you can imagine how high of a demand there's going to be. So really, there's going to have to be some coordination between Ripple exchanges and the SEC in order to facilitate, I think, a gradual increase in the volume of purchases of XRP. And I think that's why you're going to start hearing at the beginning rumors of a settlement and then slowly those rumors, you'll start to hear them more and more and more. And then you're going to get an official uh, an official uh, status of, you know, there's been a settlement. And what may even happen is they may say, we're, you know, there is a settlement, but it's not going to get listed on exchanges. I don't know really how they're going to manage that if they, if they do do that. Because really, what's going to happen is if they say we have a settlement, 
but American exchanges don't list it. Americans are going to be going on foreign exchanges through whatever IP address changers or the same way that people are buying XRP right now. And they're going to flood buying XRP internationally from international companies or international exchanges. Um, but really, that's going to put a lot of pressure on those international exchanges to manage. And, and I think a lot of them are going to have a hard time. If you look even far back when XRP initially pumped, I use you know Canadian exchanges, this Newton and, and CoinSmart. Those, when XRP was sitting at $2, at one point, because volumes were so high, they were selling XRP, it was listed $5, to try and limit people from buying XRP. This is something I've seen live with my own eyes. Same thing happened uh, on Newton. The price jacked up just all of a sudden for you know, 10, 15 minutes, so high so that they can slow down the volumes because they couldn't manage. It's not that they're trying to harm XRP. I mean, they're doing it indirectly, but it's because they can't manage it and they need to slow down. Otherwise, their platforms will crash. So there needs to be some preparation between XRP and those exchanges and, and, and the SEC and, and then MoneyGram, you know, reinstating their contracts and, and Coinbase and so on. So my point is, even if there is already a settlement, you're probably not going to hear of it for a while. And the end of August is around the corner. It's less than a month away. And that would deem it the end of discovery. And that actually makes sense for one information like that is likely to be released. With that said, those are my two cents, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I keep you always updated, guys, on my Twitter. I, I, I know uh, a lot of you are followers on there, but Crypto Greek News on Twitter and the, even on the Discord, I try to uh, you know update you guys with the latest information that I found, I find, and uh, the Twitter link is in the description. There, I, I know that recently, maybe an hour ago, on uh, there was a whale alert about I think 30 million XRP uh, being moved or being purchased I think from Bittrex to and transferring to an unknown wallet even Ethereum I, I, I saw I think over a hundred million Ethereum being moved from uh, from uh, coin uh, from different coin exchanges uh, you know to people's wallets so there's a lot of market activity guys good stuff Hold on, I, I really, I'm not giving you any financial or legal advice. I just think really, for me, it's unwise right now to do any movement within XRP to sell anything. Um, really, because it, there is a, a bit of uncertainty, but it's uncertainty to, in a positive sense. At any moment, you could really see an explosion. And if there is, you know, Ripple decides to just say, you know what, we want the price to skyrocket. We don't care if the market crashes or whatever happens with these exchanges. Or maybe the exchanges have known for a while and they decide to release that information. You're really going to have a hard time buying XRP. I can tell you that now. So good news, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green market. Let's keep it going. Thank you for watching this video and I will most definitely see you in the very next one.